Sir Tom has delivered the magic again. It's the Richie Ascent, but there is one major problem with it. So let's delve into what is a very, 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 very long term review. Okay, hello people, right. Before we delve into the tech, I feel I need to be a little bit honest with you because there's no major problem unlike I alluded to at the start of this video. Quite simply, Richie, even though they've got a big name in the cycling world, isn't a massive company like you think it is. Now, brands like Trek or Bia, Merida, Specialized, knock out thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of bikes a year. Richie on the other hand doesn't. So the problem I'm alluding to before we get into all that tech is that if you watch this video, if you've read up on the bike previously and you think I fancy one of them Dave, act quick if you see one up for sale at your local bike shop on the website. Because well it's a nice bike but we'll get into that in a minute after we get into the tech. <laughs> If you were coming here expecting bar charts, wind tunnel data, all that rubbish, then I'm gonna sorely disappoint you because Richie are a brand that, well, don't really do all that sort of stuff. They produce products that, well, they design around how they think it should perform, what it should do, and how it should ride. And well, with doing that, it means they've got to compromise in areas. For instance, the ascent Rides lovely. Well, I'll get to how it rides and all that lot later, but yeah, rides lovely. But is heavy, so it's one compromise there. But the reason it's heavy is because it's predominantly very much leaning towards that off-road side of thing rather than the on-road side of thing. So that means they've gone down the route of making it pass mountain bike industry standard tests with durability as opposed to road bike industry standards or something like that. Also because they want it to do a not so much a specific job but it wants to carry a whole heap of stuff ride the way it wants to. They've used the material or Tom's favourite material of choice steel in this case heat treated triple butted TIG welded logic tubing and as with all Richie bikes each of the tube sets are size specific. Right, how about that weight? Well, as I say, it's weighty, people. Sitting comfortably. 2.4 kilos for size large frame with uh, 1,125 gram fork uncut. And yes, that fork is steel as well. It's got an inch and an eighth straight steerer tube. Don't worry about the stiffness and all that sort of stuff with this bike. Again, I'll get to that later, but the steerer tube works. It's got a threaded crown on there. Three bosses on each fork leg for carrying whatever you need to carry. And as for the rest of the frame, well, it's got more bosses on there than um, the original Sonic the Edge computer game. Does that analogy work? Either way, you've got two bottle cage bosses, down tube, seat tube, and three bosses on the underside of the down tube, and then a whole heap of options to attach racks, fenders, whatever. If you can't attach what you want to this bike, well, you might want to have a word with yourself. The geometry is a straight carryover from the previous generation, which, well, dates back quite a way, considering I've had this for two years already. Now, there is a few little changes, including tyre width. It's been increased on this one. You can fit both a 27.5 to and a 29 or 700C for us roadies wheel size in there, with up to a 2.6 inch tyre. Yeah, that's meaty, in it? Runs both two by and one by. The rear hanger is steel, fully replaceable. If you do somehow bend it or snap it, I'd be impressed. Cables, as you can see, all externally rooted, which is no bad thing at all. Who wants to be fishing about inside a frame when you're out in the wilds and you need to replace a cable? And that bottom bracket is BSA threaded. 27.2 seat post in there and um, I suppose boost spacing on the wheels. Now as for my build that I've got here, 
I have got GRX uh, 11 speed shifters and rear mech XTR chain set on there. Richie Trail 30 wheel sets, which I'm not even sure they make anymore. Richie WCS carbon seat post, WCS alloy stem, and the beacon bars from Richie as well, which again I'll speak of later, but <laughs> quite nice. Oh, and I suppose I better address that saddle. Yes, it's a pricey item, but my derriere does love it. It's the specialised mirror roaming, expensive but juicy. Now, this is a bike that doesn't come like that because no Richie bikes come like this. You get to build them up how you want to because it is only available as a frame set. In that case, you get frame forks and headset as well, the WCS headset. Right, that's it for the tech sheet. Done and dusted. Nice, easy one, isn't it? Thanks, Richie. Thanks, Tom. On with a review. Right, review time. Now, I've had this bike about, let's say, two years. I know, long time to have a review bike, but that means I have found all the quirks with it. And to be honest, Tom being Tom, there's not many, or pretty much none. This bike is a bike that's gonna to appeal to not a massive crowd, but a crowd that is definitely out there looking for exactly this sort of thing. Yes, it is very much a, an adventure bike, one that you can load up with a whole heap of stuff and head out into the wild. And well, not worry about mechanicals, because this thing, with all the cables being externally rooted, with it all being pretty tried and trusted equipment, shouldn't cause you any problems. And if it does, a multi-tool and a few zip ties should see you get home nice and safe. But this thing is built like a bomb. Yes, the frame and fork are heavy, but that weight doesn't affect the ride much at all. Maybe a little, maybe uphill, admittedly. But with the long wheelbase and, well, the relatively slack angles, you're not going to be sprinting up any hills anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's like pretty much any Richie bike I've thrown a leg over. It's a bloody joy to ride and does exactly what it says on the tin and a little bit more. Tom's been doing this for 50 years. He knows the magic formula, doesn't he? And he's done it again. If you haven't seen me review of the Richie Road Logic disc, basically you can pretty much cut and paste what I said there and stick it here, but, but transferred the word road into gravel and you got this review. It's a bloody fun bike to ride. It's supremely comfortable. And with them bars on there, it feels a little bit unique as well. I really do like them bars. They're really comfy, surprisingly comfy, and, and the control on them is great. I was not sure when I first looked at it that I'd like them, I thought, that's a, a bit of a gimmick, a bit bloody stupid, a bit wide, but no, I've been proven wrong. All right, now, I could babble on and on, couldn't I? You know, a bit of a love fest, but it's just hard to dislike the bike. It's sat over there and I can't keep my eyes off it because it's handsome as well. Now, yeah, this is the sort of bike that isn't going to be for everyone. It's definitely not going to be for those racy gravel sort of type. It's a bike for a certain demographic and then that demographic might usually head off out to a, a frame builder and get something built that well basically would end up a lot like the Ascent. And yes, there is a few other bikes on the market that sort of fall into the same camp. It's also going to be a bike for those that want something to blast around on and they can chop and change the parts on if you set it up with mechanical equipment, I guess. Which is a good idea, actually. If you, if you want sort of a, a mountain bikey sort of vibe and you want them flat bars on there and then maybe a couple of weeks later you want that sort of more gravelly vibe to it, get the two different bars, go out and buy mechanical brakes, mechanical shifters. I actually hear that new micro shift stuff's pretty damn good for playing about doing something like that. And then you've got a bike that, well, you can chop and change on. Right, that's it, enough is enough. Let me finish up by saying, if you've got one, or even one of the old ones, let us know in the comments below, or hit me up on social media, Shoddy Cycling. I'd love to see the old ones. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching, and enjoy your riding.